this book is about a little duckling. Mm -hmm. And his name is Dilly. His name is Dilly because the book is called Dilly Duckling. Dilly Duckling. I think it's very interesting. Are you ready to start? Dilly Duckling by Claire Friedman and Jane Chapman. One sunshiny day, the ducks set off for a family weather. Little Dilly was lost in the line. Peekaboo! Dilly said to the fish. Hello! She called to the bugs and dragonflies. Keep up, Dilly! Mommy duck called. But Dilly was busy watching a big blue butterfly. She waddled after it when suddenly, puff! A gust of wind blew out one of her downy feathers. Oh no! gasped Dilly. My feather! It's flying away! Dilly raced after the big fluffy feather. Stop that feather! she quacked loudly. Whee! The wind blew Dilly's downy feather this way and that way, up in the air and down again. Round and round in circles ran Dilly dizzily, trying to catch it. Come back! she called to her feather, but it floated further and further away. Dilly flopped to the ground in a daze. What am I going to do? she cried. Do about what? asked Spike. My feather, Dilly sighed. It blew away. Was it yellow and fluffy? Spike asked. Yes, cried Dilly excitedly. It drifted down the hill, Spike said. I'll get it. Spike curled himself into a tight ball. He rolled downhill, spinning faster and faster. I'll try to spare your feather on my spikes, he shouted as he whizzed by. Whee! Spike cried. Hooray! quacked Dilly excitedly. Bump! Spike landed in a hedge. Puff! Up flew Dilly's feather again. Slowly, Dilly's feather drifted down, 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 until it landed in a field. Dilly and Spike pitted pattern after it. It's caught on the corn stalk, squeaked Nibble. I'll get it for you. Careful, whispered Dilly. It's a very important feather. Nibble held her breath as she crept through the tall grass. Slowly she climbed the corn stalk. Gently she stretched out her paw. A cheese! sneezed Nibble as the feather tickled her twitchy nose. Whee! Off Dilly's feather flew. The wind blew Dilly's feather up, up in the sky and far, far away. Sorry, Dilly, Nibble called. It's gone. Oh no, quacked Dilly as she burst into tears. Oh, poor Dilly, said Spike. Don't cry. Nibble and Spike gave little Dilly's a cheer up hug. I'll never see my fluffy feather again, Dilly sighed sadly. I'm going home to tell my mommy. Dilly waved her friends goodbye. Thank you for trying to help me, she called. Mommy, Dilly quacked. One of my big fluffy feathers has fallen out. It's lost forever. Silly Dilly, Mommy Duck said giving Dilly a big cuddle. 
all your downy feathers will fall out. Then you'll grow new, grown-up feathers, just like mine. Really? Quacked Dilly in surprise. So I'll look just like you. Dilly and Mommy Duck joined the ducklings in the river. Look! Dilly cried. There is my feather! So it is, said Mommy Duck. I don't need it anymore, do I? Dilly giggled. I'll grow another one! And quacking happily, she dilly dallied off to play. That's it! Look! There are so many feathers. Can we count them? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven feathers. Wow, it was a great story. So thanks for reading it with me. See you. Goodbye.